dogs sleep a lot. 16 hours a day. Yeah. Wait, seriously? Jesus. Yep. And that's the daytime. We're not talking about the whole... Because they run fast and nap. hot, you know? Yeah. Their little brains need to comprehend so many things. Yeah. Bowie thinks a lot. <laughs> I could tell. But <laughs> Bo- Bowie's, Bowie's going to think a lot in the crate in a second. This little doesn't. walnut is going, <laughs> running hot. This little noodle. <laughs> Your walnut ever just be running hot? <laughs> you ever have a hot walnut? <laughs> Move over, Christmas hazelnuts. Yeah. It's time it's for hot it. walnuts. It's hot time walnut. For hot walnut. Hot summer walnut. Oh my God. Speaking of hot summer walnuts, welcome to Queers on Dice, <laughs> the queerest yes. podcast this side of the Milky Way galaxy. Pew, pew, pew. Um, we're so queer, in fact, that. The nuts are nutty. Mm. They're they they're always hot. They come hot off the tree. Well oiled. Well Delicious. oiled. Oh, are you? I just oh. burnt my tongue on these nuts. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That the fact that we were really concerned. I know we everybody concerned. was like, I took it too far. It was so <laughs> sudden. <laughs> that was just really good. <laughs> wow, you must be an actor. I'm an actor. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oh. Uh, so okay, hot. this is getting sexual. That's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nuts. Queers on dice. Queers on dice. Whoa. Oh, what are we hot doing? Nuts. Hot nuts. Hot nuts. What are we doing? Mm. These nuts. Uh, the fact <laughs> the fact that you said I burnt my lip, was it lip on these nuts? Uh-huh. Yeah, on my tongue. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh yeah. Full, full mouth on them nuts. Yeah. Yeah, full full <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Oh my, my god. Gosh, Should I leave? No. Do any privacy? Stay. Should I leave? <laughs> Stay and watch. My name's Aris Throttle. I'm your GM slash hot nuts grill master. <laughs> and I'm here to really just ferry you through this journey of the astral sea and this spell jamming adventure. Um, with me, as per the huge, is the gang of space tour guides, starting with. Oh my goodness. Hi, I'm Lisa Frankenstein, hot nut salter. <laughs> Where's the lie? You Where gotta, is it though? You gotta grill it, then you gotta right. salt it. Yep, yeah, you gotta salt it. It's, it's, it's part of the process. It's a line. It's, it's a line of nuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I play. Henry Ford would be so proud. <laughs> oh God. Um, I play Peak, the tiefling warlock. Um, Favorite. Uh, favorite character's favorite drink. Ooh. Oh, yeah. mm, I know yeah. we only drink margaritas on the. In, that's true. Technically on the ship, it doesn't need to be the favorite. It's just all that's available. Yeah, I would say that peak. I mean, their favorite drink is a mezcal, good mezcal margarita. Mm. Yeah, you started the margarita thing, yes. and you were you are the mm-hmm. tour de force that. Yes. Brought that. Margarita. <laughs> <laughs> I want margarita. That's the little margar- margarita gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gremlin that lives in the ship that makes the margarita. <laughs> margarita, oh, please. Oh, see? You want some margarita? <laughs> oh, my God. Hola. Sin sal? Sal? <laughs> o con sal? No sal? <laughs> con oh, sal. God. Spicy? <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> I like the mezcal makes sense for peak too because it's like smoky. Yeah, it's Ooh, smoky. Yeah. You have to drink it slow. It's a slow burn drink. You can, it's like the one thing that that she can drink and just kind of like relax with. So yeah, um, handbone. Hi, I made your hammy, uh, and I play Jen of Awe, who is the dragonborn of your dreams. Mm. And Jen's favorite drink is a hot tea. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not, I realize that could seem coded for like mm. tea, but no, truly, the she deep down just loves to take care of herself, loves to be in tip top shape, and nothing calms her down like a nice little hot tea. And she has a little bit of a, uh, a like doggy tea, if you will, for uh, oh, oh, that's theme cute, theme, that's you know, cute, which is really cute, yeah. Don't worry about the heat, be memes of solar dragon, it's fine. She would be the kind of person who would like have. A, a beverage for her, like wine for dogs. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, actually, it's a whole brand that she has on the side. You know, she's got a lot of brands we haven't talked yeah. about. Yeah. We just touched the the very surface. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Beam Beam's MLM of Beam Beam yeah. Bits. Yeah. 
pyramid scheme. Mm-hmm. No, it's not a pyramid scheme. It's it's a shape of an upside down triangle. Right, right, yeah. right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the money, the flows, money flows down, down to beam to... beam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the pyramid scheme, it, it goes up, and that's right. bad. And the that's... more people that you get on your team, the more beneficial. <laughs> because we've inverted it, it actually yeah, helps yeah, yeah. the people. Yeah. When it's inverted, it's just you've got more capacity. It's a bigger triangle. Makes sense to me. I'll take 20. <laughs> Uh, hey, y'all. My name is Nick. I play Flandel, the Plasmoid Barbarian. Oh, uh, I am the hot nut quality assurance person. So mm. I'll be tasting every hot nut that comes through here just to make sure it's up to <laughs> snuff. Quality assurance people don't taste every single They taste thing. it all. You <laughs> no, got to taste does. it. I, I, I am the hot committed to doing this. my job. Yeah, touch really that care. tongue. 110%. Every single hot nut that you eat from our family <laughs> has, has been, been licked <laughs> by Nick. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> um, and Flandel's favorite drink, I think, straight whiskey. Whoa. Neat. Wow. Wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's horny. Slain? No, I think no. It's really not that. No, I, I was here for. It. No, was, this that, is a great choice. You, you think it's a great choice? Yeah. Okay, I think it. I I was like, okay, I think like if he was gonna like drink a drink, he would want it, and he was pushed to the no. <laughs> No, it's not straight whiskey. His favorite thing is like, like when you mix like a bunch of tropical juices together, like passion orange guava. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, and pog. Pog, if what? you will. Is it called that? Pog. Yeah. Passion fruit. If you ever see, orange. Orange if you ever see pog guava. as a flavor, that's what that means. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's like pog ciders and stuff. Not the 90s kids game. Not pogs. Okay. And then not what slammers. the gamers say yeah, when slammers. something's great, which is Pog Champs. My slammer has an eight ball on it. What? Wow. Just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for her. She'll slammers take and nuts. What is going on today? <laughs> Last time on Queers on Dice, the intrepid space tour guides were in quite the pickle that they constructed for themselves at Serica's suggestion. They chose love and gave Bella and Jack a chance to escape. And out of the scrutiny of their mom, Countess Luana's... Well, not their mom. That's incest. That's weird. Out of Bella's mom's (laughs) insistence that Bella leave Jack for someone rich... The tour guides enrolled Bella in their plan to steal the boon that Countess Luana had, and they escaped through the servants' quarters, where they soon realized that all of the servants that look the same lead a very odd yet rich and fully realized life behind doors, (laughs) um, and they're all named Carter. And the ominous presence that kept looming but never appeared almost as if he was scary to wake him, was Daddy. Daddy. Um, and Daddy never appeared. So Daddy. Thank God. We're all okay. Thank God. Papa. Daddy won't like that, Carter. I don't think many things would make me just get up and leave. And I think... <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I had made line. Daddy appear, that would have yeah. been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been like, all right, I'm out. Snakes. <laughs> this has been so fun. Snakes daddy. and Daddy. <laughs> Those are the two things Snakes that just... Snakes and Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Yum. and snakes. <laughs> I I really did love how insistent you were that like you're railroading us to daddy and I'm like no <laughs> I promise I'm not. I was just very scared. I was projecting. <laughs> and uh, you successfully escaped using a, a very powerful triple jump spell. Beep, 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 beep. Um, you were able to make it back to the docks, get on Azor, and glance briefly to see that. Jack and Bella actually were able to make it out to the port and using the Sky Reaver that you also graciously gave them for making a chance for you all to escape. Um, They'll be able to get out and get into the Astral Sea and make a life for themselves. Yep, and I no longer have my Sky Reaver. That's so sad. He has given up so much more than I would have ever anticipated. It's all sacrifice. It's very beautiful, yet am I going to feel the benefit? Not benefits. Am I going to feel the 
repercussions of that? I don't know. Of, of peak sacrifice? Yeah, because what's Jen sacrificing? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, kind of, I mean, that's, that's like your character though right like i mean yeah i'm, yeah. I'm playing what i made but anywho though this yeah. is this is really like a sad thing to say but peak is used to losing things and giving Aww. up things that's so sad and peak doesn't remember giving up one of those things so <laughs> hey. and we have matching if, family tattoos that's true yeah if you love character backstory discussion and motivations of us. This is just a small little piece of what we talk about in the talk back. And I think that's only the second time I've ever plugged our little talk back stuff. We do talk about character motivation a lot, including backstory stuff. So um, <laughs> check it out. It's very fun. And so uh, you all are back on the light Azor and have taken off and you've made it back to the astral sea. The mist of shadow space is oozing behind you. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Can we take a short rest? You can take a short or a long rest. Okay. Oh, wow. Whatever you'd like. I mean, you're a warlock, so I guess it doesn't matter. Well, yeah. we're feeling like we want to just like relax a little bit, maybe get some tropical juices or... Beam, Beam needs a bath. Okay. You yeah. just touched a lot of people and things and, you know, the world is dirty. Uh, and... Oh, speaking of, oh. Uh, Beam Beam. He's shaking that knowledge. Yeah. Like, no, give me the, the, <laughs> one of the like this like weird squid tentacle like has like unfurled from it a little bit, and he's like swinging it like a bolo chain off. Like, oh my god, drop it, <laughs> drop it, beam, 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 beam. <laughs> drop it. It's a hammy ass, so it'll happen. <laughs> oh god, <sighs> we need to put that somewhere safe. Yeah, and it, like he just keeps like spitting like, <laughs> 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 like a cat, like getting ready to. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, like now that it's out and he's not playing with it, is like it's gross. Mm. Yeah, disgusting. Thank you, Bim Bim. Yeah, good, good boy, beam good beam. boy. Yeah. And Chen just like Bim Bim takes part of the dress <laughs> and uses it to like pick up an edge of it, Perfect. and just like looks at Flandel and goes catch and just jumps. Yeah. <laughs> catches it with his with his. Yeah, tentacle. you don't know where the like. Tentacle slime and the beam beam drool begin and end. Okay, this is fine. I'm going to go uh, get this cleaned up. Um, should we meet back on the bridge after a little rest and or the cafeteria or somewhere and uh, discuss what our next plan is going to be? Sure. I would, yes. Can we meet somewhere different? Where have we not met yet? Oh, I yeah. feel like we need a change of pace. Also... Dealing with Maxi Waxy is just like it's so much. It's, it's a lot. You no, know, it I happens. Don't you know, talk to him. And like anymore. every time we have to come up with something new for him to do, it's just like I'm yeah. not feeling that creative right now. I'm, I'm, yeah, I concur. I really enjoy. I just feel like every time I'm with him, I like to learn something new. You know? No, you I don't. Really, oh, <laughs> come on, truth bomb. What you will. <laughs> no, you might be right, Peak, but I, um, I think it's. You're so much smarter than him, even with that slug. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> Serica steps in and it's like, it, it's, it's very true. Yeah. Give yourself a little more credit, Flandel, please. I just can't believe that he, uh, he's the captain, though. You know, he's the captain. Who he's did the... I get tattoos with? Oh, you and Jen. Oh, not the captain? Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Also, yeah. I'm a captain now, and I just don't like... I manipulated my way into that. You know what I mean? That's yeah, not like a very yeah, good holding I guess while the you're ranks. like putting it yeah. in Sarica, Sarica leans and is like, well, I mean, if you're the captain, you could technically ask for a she-captain's bridge, right? <gasps> oh, a whole Sarica, new bridge. I am so glad I have taught you everything you know because you are <laughs> such a genius. <laughs> and when I am tired, you come through. Thank you, my dear. Yeah. Uh, Azor. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I get a she captain bridge? I don't need it right now. I will like we're gonna we're gonna take a little rest, give a uh, beam beam a little bath of ass, and then uh, I would like to meet on that bridge. And also, don't tell Maxi Waxy. Oh yeah, I guess um, I can convert the racquetball courts, and then also, uh, I guess we get rid of the astronomy lab and uh, yeah I, i'll uh, yeah i'll figure it out Let's. okay thank you so much and i know you love decor and making things look shiny and beautiful so you <gasps> know get jiggy with it if you will okay great and so azor's yeah. very excited and also azor if you could transfer all of the functionality of the normal bridge to the she captain bridge that would be iconic <sighs> okay 
Oh, smart. And if, mm-hmm. and if you maybe um, the old bridge, if you could put like a few like I spy books in there or... Yeah. Uh, Keep the blinking lights. Uh, like an etch, etch, etch and sketch. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, Maximinus has like really gotten into fitness. So I, there's like pull-up bars now and... Um, oh, and a, a whole like kind of like Great. play space. So... Yeah. Like a McDonald's play lad. A ball pit? A ball pit? Like the, the Valkyrie Val- Val- McDonald's. Valkanodles. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to come up with the name. It didn't work. <laughs> the McDragonald's. McDragonald's play palace. Or, yeah, it's, it is a play palace for sure. Beautiful. Great. 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 Thanks, Thanks, All right. I'm a- <laughs> Great. All right. We don't have to roll for... Uh, for existence, no, because you kind of giving it time. Yeah, you're giving it time, and he's yeah. he's working for it. All right, and like y'all don't explore the ship. <laughs> that's not. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna go get this cleaned up. Great. Right. Wonderful. So you all go about. You technically don't have to sleep during this long rest. The astral sea doesn't require it. I did a short rest in D and D Beyond, but none of my those spell slots reset. Yeah, so a, do I um, do it manually? You would. You have to do a long rest. So we're going to do a long rest. Oh, which, okay. A, a short rest does not give you back spell slots. Oh, okay, thank you. Funny enough, the only character that gets spell slots back on a short rest is a wizard and then a warlock. Cool. So Peak is one of those rare characters that like. There, there are jokes about like certain characters are like just only need short rest, but they need them all the time. <laughs> yeah. And then other characters like last a while, but then they're like, when they're done, they're done. Yeah. I can cast really powerfully, but only like two times. It's great. <laughs> great. Great. Yeah. Wonderful. So um, how do you all fill your downtime? You kind of can do anything within the ship. You have various items and things that you could... Ruminate on uh, anything's possible. So I'm going to grab that jacket. Mm-hmm. Um, can I try and figure out where this key, what the key is for? I know it's like pointless, but... And it's not pointless. Keys are powerful. Okay. I love keys. <laughs> okay. This is Eris being like, I love keys. Yeah, I love big keys. I love big keys. keys. I love small keys. I big love hug, odd keys. Hug. I love locks that need two keys. Uh, <laughs> okay. You know what's great? Those really big, like old keys that mm-hmm. are like, uh. oh, with like the like like sort of metally, metally really heavy. Hef- Give me a yeah. heavy key. The keysmith in the Matrix that had like that room of keys. I was like, oh god, yeah. this is so cool. The key maker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, you have a key. Um, I do. What do you? How do you want to? discover something would you i'll let you i will let you roll either and you'll get different information for either one but you only get one of them okay arcana or history Ooh. i will roll for arcana natural 20 Oh, what? hell yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Tell me about this key. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's useless. You were right. No, I'm kidding. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like, That's really pretty. Nat 20. Yeah, it's a pretty key. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a little bit extra because it's, it's a nat 20. Y'all roll <laughs> so annoyed with nat that. Nat 20s <laughs> so much and like. People are going to think we're cheating. That's the part that's like... Yeah, the funny thing is we're literally rolling them. Like, yeah, also, yeah, yeah. I don't you know how to play enough it. to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you do. It's called, like, just say you have a 20 every time. <laughs> that's cheat. Yeah. But I also roll so poorly so often. You do. That it's like you, That was owed to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look at this key and it is, now that you're not in the midst of all this rush and stuff like that, it's a beautiful key. Um, it is a old school kind of key that has, um, it's like just very, I don't know, like used for like old school cabinets and stuff, if you know what I mean, where it's got like the big, like the armoire keys, but it's Mm -hmm. like bigger. And the end of it, the handle part, um, it has an orb in it. And as you like move it in your hand, it like, it looks like it's got purple, deep, like iridescent stardust inside of it. And it kind of moves almost like a pretty snow globe of sorts. Um, And you've seen enough keys, you know enough about stealing. Um, This is a key to a vault. (gasps) Ah, 
And not just any vault, it is a key to a vault of a wizard. Some type of a wizard's vault. You don't know who, you don't know where, you don't know what, but um, you do know that you can actually match the the glowing orb will actually match up and sync up with the vault to identify it. Didn't you say there was like information in the pockets? Like there was like a wallet with an information? Yes, there is definitely a wallet, but there's not like hard IDs. There's no like government. There's not space government. Right. Um, but uh, there are these little cards and matchbooks for like bars and they look like they're from like wildly different places made of very different materials. And you get the feeling that whoever this wallet belongs to is a very well-traveled astral sea navigator. Um, and they like to go to very fancy bars. We're going to do a astral wizard vault heist <gasps> at some point, you know, when we save the world. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. Or at least just Iona. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever god. Honestly, Iona would probably know who this belongs to. Maybe. You think? I don't know. She's been she's like a she's been stuck inside that god for quite some time. Oh, that's she right. She seemed pretty uh, separate. Yeah. A little out of touch. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't understand a lot of things. No. Like personal boundaries regarding like sensitive core memories and I feel like that was a choice. Food. Yeah. Yeah. She's um, trying her best. <laughs> she sure was. That, that was just Eris. That was <laughs> 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 no no character is stepping in. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I heard she's trying her best. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I actually think she's like really sweet and cares about you. <laughs> um, cool. Um, so just like it's a wizard's fault. Uh, wizard's fault key and you have a clue as to where whoever had that key tends to go to. And so a swanky masquerade party in like a gothic place is... Very fitting. V- right. Very where they would go. Yeah. And so... Who knows what their next steps are after not being able to find their jacket, but... Yeah. Oh, God. Or their vault key. What does the jacket... It's fur, right? Yeah. Some kind of animal fur. Do you want to roll animal handling? Sure. I yeah, think the animal's been oh. handled. <laughs> animal's yeah, this is post-handling. I'll do, I'll do nature because I have a plus two. You said nature? It's a 12. You are a space tour guide specializing in nature. This is actually a displacer beast pelt. A what? Displacer beast, which is a rare type of teleporting panther with like scary tentacle limbs, tails, things. Oh. They have an extra set of legs too. Yeah, they're creepy. Extra set? Like two and two? Uh, Four legs total? Like six. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. So I've, I've managed oh. to find the little tag on there that's this but oh. purple. Oh. Wait, that's dope. Can you wow. be that? Or is that just an animal? <laughs> like, could I have that as a pet? That's sick. Uh, I think where do I beast. find one? No, this is separate. Like, it's Sorry. like a monster. You can't, it's, yeah. <laughs> Can I be that? Can I be that? <laughs> Can I be that? Can I be a merman? So I'm like cool. a child in this game. Like, can I do that? Can so, I do that? What uh, about that? You can definitely find a displacer beast. I um, not. You don't want to. You could definitely try and tame a displacer beast. That That's would be shit sick. Jen would do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn. Little beastie weasty. <laughs> <laughs> sick. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a deep purple. Yeah. Pretty. Okay. What would you like to do? Uh, I think I'll go and try and see if there is a spa that specializes in like the jacuzzis and the tubs and also the like seaweed wraps. Um, great, roll for existence. Ooh. <laughs> no, you know what I'm gonna do instead? I want I want the hot tubs and the and the nice like pool stuff, but instead of seaweed wraps, I want um, scalp cleansing and massage. Mm. It's like a new cool thing. Okay, yeah, roll for existence. Okay, let's see. Does it exist? It's a 19. Oh, it exists. All right. <laughs> it exists. Oh, yeah. It is. It's lush. And there's actually like Azor brought plants from the like conservatory to add like lushness to it as well. Oh. There's these just like giant ferns and it gives it this kind of like jungle feeling to it. So yeah, there's all these different types of pools. There's a scalp cleanse. There's massage. 
And there's just these cute little attendants and they look like kind of like wooden figures of uh, where the wood has actually wrapped around itself into these like little spiral limbs. And that's just kind of like what walks around and it just kind of like ushers you along to wherever you want to go, wherever your heart desires. Oh yeah. I go and get a uh, scalp cleansing. Thing. Lovely. And so the spiraled up hand unspirals into like the little, I'm, th- I'm thinking of the, those wire, scalp things mm, that like mm-hmm. go oh, down yeah. Oh, yeah. and like mm-hmm. like it feels amazing and so you could just sit there for like half an hour and someone does that uh, so that um, oh. and it un- unfurls and just like <laughs> on your brain very nice nice shampooing too mm-hmm. gotta cleanse it and mm-hmm. scraping and yeah sick hell yeah. yeah I'm just like zoning peaceful. out yeah very peaceful Jen what do you do Good question. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I am going to send a formal invitation via Azor to Jill and Jen to invite them on the deck of the ship for a little sunbathing. <gasps> Even though there's like, it's not really for the sunbathing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's for the bonding. The, right. <laughs> there's no sun yeah. in the astral sea. Azor. Yeah. Um, I would like you to do me a favor, if you could, pretty, mm-hmm. pretty please. Uh, could you please create and send a formal in... You know what, Azor? I just realized something. Mm-hmm. You do everything for me. Oh, you, I mean, that's why I exist. You know what? Instead, can you get me a pen? <laughs> a nice calligraphy... Actually, I can't do calligraphy. A pen. A very nice one. Like a 0.5 gel, like, you know, the bougie. Mm -hmm. And then um, some nice paper with envelopes and a little fun little stamp sealy seal that is like uh, wax. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you you a secret? Sure. So have you ever seen He Captain's memos? Yeah. They're beautiful calligraphy, right? Absolutely. I don't understand how he does it. I thought it was his only skill. uh, Azor produces a pen. And it's like, he can't either. This is <gasps> a magic pen of calligraphy. Azor. And it just, it, it the nib will actually flow to make the like extra curlies. Azor, that is like so kind of you. It's Captain's prerogative. Oh, you know what? I just have to say, I feel like we didn't get off on the best foot. And I'm just like so grateful that you have like, really embraced me as she captain because you could have been a real bitch about it. But no, you were like very kind and that's kind of your job, blah, blah, blah. But like you could have had a toot and you didn't. And I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, I go with the flow. Work. Okay. One moment. I'm going to write this and then you can like deliver it. That would be lovely. Great. And the, you see like a little like, you know, those pneumatic tubes that deliver <laughs> like letters, yeah. a, a, a pneumatic tube just appears out of nowhere. And it's like, yeah, just stick it in whenever. Okay. Uh, calligraphy pen pen. Please write the following. It's just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Dear fellow dragon born bitches. Are you writing it? <laughs> no, no, no. The pen is writing it. I'm just saying it out loud so the pen knows what to write. The nib, is, how it the nib is trying to like move a little bit. <laughs> It's like, he's like, oh, you, you got to assist it. Like you. Oh, I have to like hold it. It gives you calligraphy powers. <laughs> oh, I thought this was like a special, it, you know, I've seen those like enchantress bitches with the, they just tell something and it does. No. Okay. Sorry. Jill, Jill, Jill is very. I don't. That okay. Kind of great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So I. It, hold, the I, instant <laughs> souring is very funny. I slightly hold the pen <laughs> and I write. Dear fellow dragonborn bitches, come on, survival. We are so amazing and have done so much and have been through so much in the past, present, and probably our future. Let's relax. It's our moment. Please. Oh, no. Take that back. I forgot this is a pen. Okay, whatever. Um... (laughs) Uh, You are cordially invited to the deck for some relaxation station 
sunbathing bonding time. And then, was I writing two letters? Or just one? No, it's not <laughs> writing. You oh. fucking pen. <laughs> what the fuck? Ugh. I should have just fucking gone to the rooms. <laughs> this is such a labor. He's or he's or Yeah. Can you take everything that I just said um and just like tell them and like or make a note? I just this is too much work. I tried to do it myself and it didn't work. This pen is bullshit. Um <laughs> he, he's like, well actually, yeah, here. Um I also just kind of like could hear that and here um, and so he produces this like flat metal surface, and then it creates these indentation, and he like dips it into an ink pad, and then puts it onto a piece of paper, and he stamps out a letter of everything that you said. Amazing! And, and then he on, does it three times beautiful. or twice. And then on one of the letters, I write "Love Geneva." I want one of the letters. I write "Sincerely, your fellow dragonborn." <laughs> uh, I think I know which, but who gets which one? Uh, Jill gets the sincerely, and uh, Sarah gets, gets love. the love. Beautiful, because I love her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Azor's like, you got it, she captain, and like <laughs> the or I don't know how new Mac tube sound. Yeah, Just, whoop, shoop, and then shoop. I make my way to the deck now. There's very clearly a deck and an outside, but we'll still roll for existence to understand what types of uh, worlds are out there are floating above the astral sea. I got a 10. So there is a tiny little bright pink sun just shining <laughs> kind of close. Um, and it looks like it would be some type of a interesting pink world. Maybe it's a cotton candy space. I don't know, but like... Cool. It's there. It's Hot. it's shining. Not not too bright. It's not like an impressive warmth, but that's good. So you get up there and then like a few minutes later, you hear someone kind of like trotting up the stairs. Hello. Oh, Jill, you're here first. I, well, I just got so excited. I just, oh. I love to sunbathe. And thank you for thinking of me. Yeah, it was more like, you know, we're all from the same place and that felt like a reason together. So here we are. Well, it just gives me a break from Maximinus as well. I'm sure you understand. Oh, you've been hanging out with him? If if he's left unattended, he could choke on uh, stuff. So, Dear, you didn't hear this from me? Let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, there's a... Uh, if we ever get back to hearth space, I think that... Uh, I know that he was a Nepo hire, and so I don't want to meet whoever that father is or mother. I, there could be a number of powerful people involved. I don't think they care. Anyways, it's besides the point. I'm just saying let nature do its thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, while you're saying that, um, uh, you hear like a kind of like a knock on the side of the wall. And then Sarah is like, hey, bitches. Hey, bitch. See, now that's how you make an entrance. Come on. Uh, beep, beep. Sunglasses and little Ray Ray light things, please. <laughs> and um, it scoops up three pairs of sunglasses on its tail. And in one swoop, throws them. And each lands perfectly on your head and on Serica's head. And then it hits Jill right in the temple. <laughs> Oh no, Jill, I'm so sorry. We're still working on his aim. It's a new trick, a new trick. And then I give Beam a wink. <laughs> that seems like it was purpose. And then puts on the sunglasses. He's just an animal. Uh, Ezor, can we get some lounging chairs up here, please? Yeah, totally. And these like very lush, kind of smooth reclining chairs just like emerge from under the wood. And so it's like, looks like it's just a continuation of the floor that's like kind of made into these long chairs, perfectly contoured for each of your butts. Hot. Mm. Um, ladies, pick your butt shape and please sit accordingly. Azor, can we get also just one huge uh, sun reflector uh, device? Um, a, a beam's gonna hold it. <laughs> just to be clear. Uh, this is like, giant, very, very shiny alloy wood, like kind of visor is like produced um, and it grows out of the side. And then 
falls and separates so Beam can, can like grab it and freehold it. And Beam Beam, really make it shine, love. Really make it shine. <laughs> right. He kind of like does a little bit of Drake's breath on it as well. And so like extra solar light goes onto it and it like seems like it's charged with light. So you get like a little bit of the pink sun and the yellow golden sun. And so it's like like a little little bit of a sunset. And it's almost like it'd sunset, be perfect solstice. for my copper color. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. <laughs> By design. Morning. Yeah, you're all just enjoying a peaceful, peaceful time on deck. Do you break the silence or do you just sit there in the in bask? Ladies, so part of the reason I brought you up here is because I actually like had a little bit of a like scary, like visiony, like dream thing situation, if you will. Like, um, so and it was about uh Valkyor. And I just felt like you two being the ones who know what's up with that, you should know what's tea. Oh, are you are you thinking of going back? Um, you know, I wasn't. And then I saw this thing and I was like, oh shit, should I? Wait, what did you see? So it was like this like vision from this like cookie person who was very fun. And basically, Vakio was like uh, doing this thing like crystallizing all over the place. And it seemed like in some sort of danger. And it was just a little terrifying. And it felt a little like this person is kooky, but is like very like knows what's up. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like not something to be fucked with. Yeah, I mean, you were, you were given a vision by someone. That's that's what you call those visions. Yes, yes, yes. Visions. Well, I mean, like, how much do you trust the person? It could be manipulative. Like, who knows how much they made that up? And like, I don't know. She doesn't course, seem like yeah. she has much to get out of manipulating someone. Well, well, you know what? That, well, I don't know. I'm in relaxation mode, so I'm not like super like on my p's and q's about it all, you know, and really like figuring it out. Well, isn't the crystallization what happened to the plasmoid planet? Yes, but it looked like scarier than that, like more aggressive. More rapid. Well, you're saying the planet crystallized, but like it only, the crystallization only did like for like bio, like biomatic. Yes, it was, it was a magic that was attuned to life. It like crystallized the life essence of creatures. Listen, this was like a vision and I'm not like asking for a whole lesson on how crystallization works. I just thought I would let both of you, sorry, I'm a little defensive. It was like very stressful and I don't really know how to articulate um, everything I saw because it was traumatic. Well, if you're just, if you're saying that th- things were crystallizing, that's, that is very scary. Like it's just, that's different. Well, than... I think I did too. Oh, oh. Or I started to and then it was like poof gone and the bitch was like, ha ah! ha. Is that what it sounded like? <laughs> no, that's a perfect recreation of, of, of episode eight. Holy shit. I don't know. I'm just like relaying some info just in case. I don't know if anybody's like planning on going back. I don't even know if we're getting out of this whole thing. I just thought, you know, you should know, you know? Well, yeah, I I kind of think about going back sometimes. I, I Really? Yeah, stick it to the old spy masters that, uh, that replaced me. Oh, uh, honestly, they deserve it. I think so. They got sticks up their ass, those ones. It's like, blah, blah, we're all spy masters. Like, whoop dee doo Yeah, blah, 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 old guard, new guard. Yeah, yeah, ugh, so over it. Like, go fight somebody or something, you know? Truly. Stop making deals with other planets. Ugh, just exhausting. Yeah. Okay, great. We sunbathe in silence now. <laughs> <laughs> And you continue in silence for another two hours. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Sarika, I love your bikini. Mm, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yours is yours is beautiful as well, but it's it's like, I, it's hard to tell. At first, I thought you were naked because it's just copper. Oh my god! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry, that pause wasn't me like trying to be shady. I just I wasn't sure if you were wearing a bikini at first, and I was like, oh wait, wait, wait. you you are. It's just you look naked. Yeah. Yeah, and Beam Beam is just throwing rays, enjoying <laughs> being useful and being happy. Wonderful. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay, so Flandel is uh, is in his room, and he's at his personal sink, and he's, like, washing off the nautiloid shell. There's lots of, like, goo on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's pretty gross. Can you give me an arcana check? Yeah. 
14. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> With a 14, the intricacies of how to work this device are lost on you a little bit, unfortunately. And so as you're washing it, more tentacles start to pop out of the ball. Oh. Um, and it's getting gooier and grosser. And it's it's unfurling. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I just kind of take the tentacles and like just sort of like wrap them around the shell. Okay, yeah, it's, it's helping. <laughs> okay. It, it, it feels like it's helping. Good. Uh, reach for like a plastic bag. Mm-hmm. I just kind of <laughs> pop that in there. It's expanding in the plastic bag. No, okay, no. Um, uh, Azor, do you know how to, like, what's, what's going on with this thing? Can we analyze, please, analyze? Bloop. A like, little orb kind of like descends and is it envelops the, the non-loid thing. He's like, oh, that's, that's a spell jammer helm. Yeah, yeah. For, for like a Nodloid ship. Um, yeah, let's see what Azor knows. Come on, Azor. Come on, Azor. Ooh, that's an 18. Hell yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, yeah. ooh, not much. Ooh. <laughs> uh, not even a little bit. <laughs> and it explodes. Um, no, uh, he, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So um, if you press this eyeball here and right here, and then you plug it for two seconds, and then it's like... Whoosh, whoosh, uh. And then it turns into this like shell and it's like stable. And he's like, okay, so you just press it right there in the center eyeball okay, the center. and it'll, it'll, the lens will reticulate from a singular slit to a, a squid eye that has like little holes on the end. Okay. When it's in squid eye form, it's ready to deploy and that's when the tentacles will come out and it'll start to form the helm on whatever vessel it's in. Okay. All of this is so gross. I might have you. Rev- I mean, you know, I'm I can just be in charge of it if you, because like, if I had a guess, you're gonna use this to like do mind flayer stuff. You are so smart. Yes, yeah. that's exactly. <laughs> wow. I'm. Yeah. Well, we've been talking about that mind flayer space for uh, for the last seven spaces that we've gone to. Yeah, that's so. right. That's right. I guess it has come up once or twice, but I mean, really, just. You know, Azor, I really do not give you enough credit for everything you do for us. It's really it's just re- just really fantastic. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Yeah. I just feel like, you know, it. it's you and me and Peak and and we really just kind of keep this this ship going, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> the three of us do a lot to make sure that the ship functions and Serica too. Of I course, Serica and Maximinus, just... of course, considerable talent among the ship. Well, and of course, our new she captain as well. I just like she has taken control pretty yeah. pretty uh, <laughs> pretty <laughs> thoroughly. Yeah, that was sudden and unexpected. <laughs> I like it. I think that there needs to be a strong, firm voice kind of guiding us. And I think Maximin is kind of well. He chokes on things a lot. I don't know why. Oh yeah. Uh, speaking of, um, can, how many days since uh, uh, last? Um, since uh, Maximin has last choked on something. I just like to keep track of that. You know? Right, we're right. Uh, so I've been updating the tally board and we're, we're three, three days without um, accident. This is good. That's great. It's a it's record. It's a new record. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's really good. So <laughs> um, and then, uh, okay, let's check um, energy levels. Uh, energy levels are uh, strong. I've absorbed a lot of native astral light. So I think the energy reserves are at 85%, which is a great space to be in. That's good. I'm yeah. uh, just thinking about what else I could possibly... Um, when's the last uh, system diagnostic, like a full diagnostic been done? Oh, I mean, like I do a diagnostic on myself, like daily and like constantly and I, I've been pretty good but like system diagnostic I uh, 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 probably when I left the factory what uh, yeah the, the Arcano factory like when you were made uh, I don't I, I prefer to say is made built. not the right I'm sorry like that was yeah. yeah formed Mm, no. I like I like I like assembled, yeah. Okay, that's good. Assembled. Yeah. This is not right. The Pristine Ventures manual says that you must be a di- a full diagnostic must be run once every month, preferably on the first of the month. 
Preferably, yeah. If you if you miss it, there's a chance that like the oil kind of uh, gathers and gathers at the, the sits at the yeah yeah. I mean, like so the like decade or so that I've been around, yeah. I, I guess I've um, been backed up. No, um, no, ten times carry the two. That's a lot of diagnostics that we've missed. <laughs> we well, we got to run one right now. Yeah, um, if you need me to do simple math, I'm happy to do. No, that no, 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 no. Just the the diagnostics. <laughs> wow. Fine. I I know, oh, okay. I know the number. I just didn't say it out loud. Let's <laughs> do the diagnostic. <laughs> Great. I just just wanted to offer that. I we like, all know. I like to be help numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, great. And so, um, uh, from the ceiling, a, um, little helmet descends and it, it looks like a biker's helmet attached to three electricity wires, essentially. Oh, okay. That are going into the ceiling and it just kind of descends and it's up to you to put it on if you want. Okay. Um, uh, I've never really done this before. Maximinus does it. I, I mean, it can't be that hard. Just kind of reach for the, the... Well, he's never done it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. I, supposedly, it's painless. Okay. Well, oh. this is not gonna be that bad then. Um, I I reach up to it with my stubby little arms, and I put the the uh, yeah, I slurp it onto my head. Great. Um, give me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, oh no. Eleven. Um, yeah, so you, you put it on and sure enough, it, yeah, no one's ever been hurt doing this before, but no one's ever waited 10 years to do it either. And so <laughs> oh God. Uh, you are overwhelmed by a deluge of information about Azor and a lot of it is the dregs of its experience. In a lot of ways, the reason why this happens is because it's... It functions like sleep does for us where there's just like a memory cleanup that occurs. And so there's all of these functions and all these processes that he's maintaining simultaneously, such as making margaritas appear and doing all this stuff. And so you are, for the first time, giving him a break from all of that load while also doing a deep dive to see how he's doing, what he's looking like, what he's feeling like. And so... Unfortunately, with a 11 on a saving throw, it's not high enough to withstand all of the weight of this information. And so you suddenly see visions of... You see Beam Beam doing flips in a obstacle course. You see Peak changing into various forms using a... <laughs> some type of crazy magic in a mirror, but then like it jumps away and you see Maximinus... Um, Get, he tra he's trained himself to give himself the Heimlich to try and <laughs> save himself. And then you see um, Jill actually uh, just reading and practicing a little bit of magic. You see Jen doing push-ups in the mirror and like smiling at herself. <laughs> and you see, you see images of war in uh, various planets. And you see a picture of a laser fire. You see rapid like you, you just blood like splaying across oh the whatever God. vision that uh, can be seen there and then you see time just pass for long stretches of zero thought and then you see a completely different world with two moons one that you don't even recognize you see wet grass just glistening in the distance and banners everywhere and then suddenly you see Serica uh, making poisons, and then you see, you see the pool getting reconstructed. You see a spa getting made. You see a bathroom appearing, disappearing, appearing, disappearing, and Peak looking very frustrated. <laughs> um, and then, then you see yourself like practicing schlooping into different shapes to because you never know when you got to be in a different shape. Right. It's like <laughs> that's your workout, and then suddenly you're. You, you're, you're back and almost as if your body has rejected it, you've retracted from the helmet and disconnected. Yeah. You take 3d6 uh, psychic damage. Okay. That is 12 damage. Okay. Ow. Um, wow. Uh, that was... That, uh, 
That was a lot, Azor. Um, huh? It just was that successful. Did did I do? Did I? Is that is it done? Oh, um, it's mostly for you to get an understanding of my inner working. So, uh, I, it, w- does everything look okay? Um, I guess I believe like yes and uh, no. Um, in yes, in some key ways, like I saw, you know, the the crew going about their their um, their stuff. Yeah, uh, they're funny. Yeah, they are. Serica makes a lot of poison. Yeah, that's a lot of poison. I'm pretty sure. Yes, for a lot of she, interesting ingredients. She was not hired to make like that's not part of her job description. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to look. I'll just I'm gonna earmark that for later. Um, uh, and then I kind of noticed that there's a there was uh, images of war. Um, and a, a planet with two moons. Hmm. Do you, is that, do you have any insight into that? Uh, Mar has three moons. Uh, uh-huh. Valkyor has four. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Okay. Okay. And, and. Uh, the two moons, but like, you don't really know how many moons there were there, right? Like it's, did you, were you like looking at it from above and you saw only two? No, I think I was on the planet. I was looking at it from. I was looking at it, the moons up there. Oh, so you're saying one of them could have been like missing, right? Like maybe. Part of it. Okay, okay. It just didn't seem familiar, and there was all these banners on there too. And you, yeah, this isn't ringing any bells because this is from your memory banks. No. So, okay. I'd remember that. And it was—it's only been ten years since you were assembled. Yeah. Okay. Where, uh, where were you assembled? Exactly. I was assembled at Ceres, which is uh, also where um, Captain was assembled. Yes. <laughs> Took me a second. Yes. That's okay. Ceres. Ceres is a tabaxi planet. So. Uh, oh, ha, sorry. I was like, back it up one time. Yeah. You, you might call it born, but. Yes. I just might. thought everything made <laughs> sense. <laughs> All right. Well. I think that was uh, a harrowing experience. Maybe we'll try again next month. Just see if it goes a little better. Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to because that is protocol. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I. <laughs> <laughs> um, protocol, that's what we do here. <laughs> that's right. Uh, uh, where is um, Peak, by the way? Uh, great question. Um Oh, uh, I am giving Peek a scalp massage right now. Oh, <laughs> very good. Okay, great. I will, um, I assume that's in the spa area. Yeah, but that's moved to the third floor, not the second floor. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool. I make my way to the spa area. Wonderful. Before I leave, I take a look in the mirror. I take a deep breath and I look at myself and I say, I am conquering my fears and becoming stronger each day. And then I leave. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, so you make it to the spa mm-hmm. with complete with scalp massage and ferns, fern gully. Um, mm. Wonderful. What do you do? It's really lush in here. Uh, oh, hi, 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 Peak. I didn't realize you were mm, here. Hi, hi, Flandel. Hey, how's it going? I'm great. Wow, you seem really just fully. He's like really going to town on your scalp, but yeah. it's like comfortable. Like you hear it, it's like scratching on bark almost. It's <laughs> like, so, yeah. Oh. Like, oh. I should really stop this, but it's <laughs> really what I needed. That's good. That's good. Um, how's it going? Uh, good. Really good. I got that uh, Spelljammer helm all cleaned up. Uh, it's in, it's been acquired by the ship that oh. Azor is holding it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't yeah. worry about it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I figured it out pretty easy. There's just, um, you know, there's a pretty interesting thing with the eye. You just, it's a reticulated. I'll show you. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was, that's I was, how you deploy it. I was just afraid that you gave it to Maximinus for a second. No, no. I did think about it because it does make sense, but I, um, you know, I think uh, maybe she captains a little bit more uh, tapped into what's going on right now. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you realized that. 
Yeah, me too. I think, um, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I think there's different forms of leadership, you know, and Maximinus is good at one kind of form and, uh, and, um, and Jen's good at like a lot of other ones. A lot of other ones. Yeah, yeah. And I'm realizing that there's there's different there's different forms of leadership and that's exciting. There are some, like Maximinus, uh-huh. the leadership is non existent. Yeah. Like subtle, you mean, like it's a, like it, it doesn't uh, assert itself so much. So you don't even know that it's there, but you're still being held by it, right? By your own choice. Okay. <laughs> you want to hop in a in one of these hot tubs yeah, or the yeah, cold tubs? I know that you get weird when it gets too hot. I do get it. Uh, yeah, we can start hot, but I, you know, my time limit on that is like pretty. Yeah. Well, the cold one is like right next to the hot one, so you won't. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. If you don't mind, then I'll just be in the. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. No, no problem. Okay. Well, you take your time too. I I need to stop this. My scalp is probably going to start bleeding pretty soon. Okay. Since yeah. I've, I've that been here seems for a minute. Unsafe. <laughs> 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 um. And so I kind of like lower myself into the, the cold tub and um, I look over at you and I say, uh, Peek, um, listen. Okay. Uh, you, you gave that ship to Bella and Jack. I did. And I know how much you loved that ship. I did. That was very, that was just an incredibly selfless thing to do. I mean... Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that was amazing. Well, thanks. I just wanted to acknowledge that. And I'm I'm sorry because, you know, I I told them that we would get them out of that. And, you know, I, it should have been my ship. It should have been my ship that I gave them. I mean, you can say that, but aesthetically, they probably would not have gotten away if it was your ship. That's right. They would have been found immediately. Yeah, yeah. It did, it did sort of kind of work for their vibe too. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Uh, listen, I mean, do you want the Jelly Roger? No. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to say it doesn't, okay, you, you could think about it if you want. Okay. Okay. Um, (laughs) and just let me know. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, I think it's the least I could do. Um, sure. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. And if you think of anything, if you decide you don't want the Jelly Roger and you think of anything else that you might want that I can help you get, um, you know, like. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, just let me know. Why don't you keep the Jolly Roger? And since you feel like you owe me a favor, I will keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Great. I just love how, like, suddenly Flandel's so insulted that, like, <laughs> well, you didn't have to say no so quick. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I did wow, a nice that was thing a and lot. that was Peak, would you like to inherit a large ship and a hamster? <laughs> <laughs> Comes with its own crew. I mean, it's of one. Of one. <laughs> it's just a hamster. Who knows if a hamster eats people? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely doesn't eat goo. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, cut to hammy gnawing on the side of the ship like <laughs> Jet. Bus, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Waiting it for an opening. Yeah. <laughs> Jed busts in the door wide open and his walks struts in and just a towel around her waist, topless. And she struts in and takes a plunge into the hot pool and goes, relaxing too, eh? Absolutely. How you doing? Fantastic. I just had some like one-on-one or I guess two-on-one, because I guess there were three of us there, Um, dragon time, and it was fabulous. Oh. I got a good tan on. I'm just, I'm feeling really relaxed. I'm preparing. You know, we have a big fight. Yeah. I was, was going to say, you look very bronzy. It's really cool. Oh my. Coppery. Cop- bronze. Bronze? But copper sometimes has a bronzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, really, it's, 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 well, it's deeper. It's deeper. And sort of yeah. roasty. That sunbathing, it, like, Sometimes, depending on the different levels of kind of light exposure, you can take on a bit of a patina. Ooh. And so you get like maybe a little bit of like flecks of green, but like in all that exposure, now you're you're beaming. You're like yeah. a yeah. You're like a bronzy copper. Yeah. Yeah. Technically bronze is actually made of part copper. So Yeah, it's very deep. It's beautiful. 
Thank you. I tend to be stunning. (laughs) Copper is a pure metal and bronze is not. It's an alloy, so... Mm. Hmm. That's why I chose copper because I totally knew that fact. Because <laughs> I'm super smart. Like Come Aries. on, metallurgy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you, material science degree. Sickening. <laughs> um, yeah, we do have that big fight coming up. What are we... Um, I. Yeah, after... I mean, I know we have a lot coming up, but I've found this really cool key in my pocket. Um, it goes to a wizard's vault. Ooh! So after we're all done with everything, if we want to take a break and then go into this wizard's vault, we can. Um, Just to like look at it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it could be like a cool, like, like a tour guide destination. We could scope it out. Yeah. Add it to the route. Absolutely. And we yes. get the pristine points and we get our, get back to the astral sea. Yeah. I like it. Yes, let's add a route coming back to the place that we can't get out of. That is like so <laughs> fun. <laughs> that is crazy fun. Well, we're well, gonna get we're gonna get out, Jen. We I gotta, mean, that's what we keep saying, but I gotta, think it's like a morale thing at this point, you know? Yeah. Well, we owe Iona because she told us where the Nautilus was, and so we have to pay her back. Oh, we have to find her. Oh, you guys. We, that's why we're doing the mind flayers thing because she showed us where this. The way oh, out. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I mean, that's... Otherwise, we could just be the fuck out of here. You I don't know. know. I'm yeah. just having fun, honestly. I'm just here for yeah. the journey. Yeah. Um, but like Flandel was saying, we're going to go do do the, the, the... I don't remember what it's called. Andal space? Andal's wild space, yeah. yeah. Um, which uh, Iona called it... Vantress. Oh, Vantress. Yeah. Vantress. Yeah. Wait, we're not going to the Mind Flayers? No, the, you, not wait. yet. Well, you you have two options. So you you have the Palm of Iona, which lets you enter into Andul's wild space and um, get the help of his supporters. So it should be kind of the layup in terms of getting boons. And then you have the actual Mind Flayer space to go to as well. I figure um, one last little... Pep and you know, poor Flandel here has had this hand on him the entire time. We might as well use it. Yeah, I kind of thought it was fashion. I forgot it had function a little bit. Mm-hmm. I I've mean, really gotten used to it. Oh, yeah. no, I like it. Me you, too. You do wear it very well. Thank you. No problem. When it's kind of trying it out on different places. Right now, it's like on my thigh, my right thigh. Yeah. Honestly, Flandel, that's a little sexy. Yeah, I'm not going okay. to, to it you. Was, oh. it, it was really funny. I saw it earlier. It was a little bit higher. It was. I was giggling <laughs> at you. <laughs> It's the sluttiest part of the body. Yeah, it's true. Little cheek. Wow. <laughs> Definitely not where I have a tattoo, that's for sure. That's right. <laughs> and a huge... Azure. And a huge pine cone. <laughs> Azure has a tattoo on the front yeah, of the ship. Right. It's on the front of the ship where his right thigh would be. <laughs> it's only sexy if it's on the right thigh. That's right. Like, I don't yeah. know why that is. Wait, is that a real... No, no, no. Or were you yes anding me? No, it's that is a that is a gay thing. Wait, seriously? It is? Yeah. The right, the right thigh. thigh. Upper right thigh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't know that. I just thought I was being silly. Yeah, I don't know. It's like hanky culture, right? Like the the <laughs> I don't know if it's that serious, but like it's it's a joke on Twitter. It's like the oh, it's like the funny. earring thing. Yeah. Oh, on yeah. The right There's side. one earring on one side. Why is the right side gay? Um because everything right you in? own is in a box to the left. Mm. <laughs> yeah. In the closet, that's my stuff. Yes, yeah, as if I bought it. Please don't mm. touch. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna touch it. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're going to to Vantress, right? And then Vantress, and then I guess we try and see. And then the mind flares. Well, okay. And how, here um, we are setting our. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, you go. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Jen. Whatever you're gonna say is probably way more important. You're right, but I feel like giving you a chance. Okay. Well, great. Well. And now I feel really on the spot. Um, I was going to say, uh, we're gearing up to this being like a, a fight, but what if it's really just a more of like a, they you know how I feel about stealing. So like, no, but like, <laughs> what if it's like a heist, you know, like a, like we get in and we, we just get the, um, it's the mind of Andul that the, that the they brain. stole. The brain. the brain. Yeah. So what if we, if we just get in find the mind, the if, brain, and then get out. If we stealth in there and are not seen by the mind flayers, that would be a miracle. 
That would be incredible. But they are playing with their mind flayers. So my assumption is that they can read minds and maybe like feel telepathic things. You know how like how I talk to you sometimes when my mouth doesn't move? Yeah. Yeah, it's that kind of stuff, I, yeah. I think. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure. All right. This is, you know, yeah. Okay, so they'll know where. where you know what I just remembered? Hmm. Jill is on our ship. Yeah, so yeah. is Torin. Right, that's the important one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so they've been doing research, have they not? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I think they that's were researching. Gan, what's his name? Yeah. To find out where Gandar is. Gand, fucking Gandor. Yeah. Stupid. Do we want to like check that. in on them? Do yeah. we want to take them on this journey? I mean, I'm mostly talking about Torin, but yeah, yeah. Should we bring Torin on this this round? Yeah, to Andal's wild space. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. See what he's up to. Yes. I mean, I think Serica should stay here. She's a terrible influence on me in the best way. <laughs> She's so sick. Yeah, she really brought out a lot of. She's incredible. We should steal more stuff. You know, there Honestly, is a company Pete, policy about... You know, it's not stealing if um, it's in my hand and no one saw it. <laughs> um. Honestly, Pete, <laughs> I know Serica would uh, have such a good time stealing with you once we get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. we've Actually, you know what? I have a whole history. Uh, we have to have like a beer about I, Serica for I have, real. Yeah, I have to be honest. I have stolen with Serica before. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Shut I, up. Shut up. This is, oh, sorry. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Keep talking, but um, shut up. I mean, yeah, I know that you and her go way back. Oh my God, you know how peak I mean, cause I'm Because you, you, you said, because you said her, you and her, and I didn't know that, but because. Um, I know, but I was Her like, and I go, like, know each other. Like, we don't go way back like you two, but like. Oh my God. Yeah, we know each other. Oh my God. Yeah. You know I taught her. I do. Like, I, do I heard that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. so sick. Oh, you're so incredible. Had a steal? No. Oh, uh, and just to clarify the timeline, there was like a period where like people ha- like left Valkyor. And yes, like yes, so yeah. During that, that was the off period. You found your own way. Serica found her own way. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, no, how to be a great tour guide? Yes, how to be a great tour guide. Okay, yeah. okay. And like how we're doing, like stealing things to give them back to like the person who owns it. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. like a, a avenging. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Fahada, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> the room just got really cold. <laughs> I heard you called me. Hello. Who are you talking <laughs> about me? <laughs> I heard oh my, my name. Yeah. Oh, hello. I heard hello. you were talking about me. My name is Hana. <laughs> my name is Hana. <laughs> I'm here to uh, eat your souls. I only want one, two souls, Max. Thank you. I'll be full. Yeah. When is the next time you get sacrificed to me? I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Daddy needs souls. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, great. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what I thought I heard. I just was it's- like, there is... <laughs> A pretty severe company policy about stealing. So. I know. You think I... Hey. Uh, no, I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't. I, I just know you're being... You're just telling jokes and being Yeah. Funny. You um, know how funny I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I make you laugh all the time, don't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you do. Yep. Anyway, um... <laughs> So we should talk about that sometime because that would be really yeah, fun. We should, talk, we should all we should all get a drink. All three of us get a drink. drink. Yeah, yeah. We'll get, yeah. Drink get like a really yeah. something get other really than a margarita. Yeah. No, get really yeah. fucking. We can get flannel like, waste and shit. Oh, absolutely. We, we can put flannel in the hot tub and see how long it takes him to puddle up. Peak, what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Too far. Okay. <laughs> sorry, Flandel. Ah, uh, no, sorry. It's just relaxing. Okay. Totally. I turn totally. the jets on. It's really good. I see here. that. Wow. Yeah. You are separating a little bit. Okay. Ooh, that, <laughs> just kind of get that, put that back in there. Bloop. There you go. <laughs> um, well, do we want to, I mean. Head to Ventress? Yeah. Are we feeling good or? Oh, I, I feel great. Let's go talk to Torin and see if he Torin. wants to come with us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I'm like too relaxed. Need to get my edge back. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I get up and dry off with a towel and I just have clothes on. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> you had clothes on in the hot tub? <laughs> no, it's, yeah. Never nude, baby. Never nude. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> ink being a never nude was not that was my... No, I think I think the way it works is like um, I'm drying off, but as I step out, as I'm leaving, my body gets clothes on it. So like, oh, okay, it's like that type of illusion. Yeah. Oh, because you disguise self at will. Yeah. Are you always naked? Oh. oh. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I think I have my base on all the time. What is a okay. base? Like my tour guide Like outfit. a base layer. Oh, it's like, yeah, like my, my shirt and okay. my pants and like my so boots. So that you're not cold, I guess. Yeah, yeah. but like... Never nude? I, no, I, always nude. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Never not I nude. Welcome to the stage. I just change it. I guess I would like actually take my clothes off for the spa and get in a towel and change back into my clothes. Like I had a locker in there or something. I love this detail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. It's I mean like there's a lot that's very powerful about Disguised self at will is like implies a very second nature relationship with it, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I like shake my head and I've got like this cute shaggy like bob with my original green and black hair. Sick. Mm. Yeah. Can I have a question? Mm -hmm. If I, no, because I have acid. I'm trying mm. to think if I could just like steam the shit out of this like hot tub. Uh, <laughs> bean, 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 bean. Boiled bean, bean, alive. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and dripping, um, bones are dripping off of our bodies because of the acid. <laughs> uh, beam, beam, you know what to do. And Beam, beam, like, comes up and does. Beam, beam starts to shake his body like a dog trying to shake off water, but instead he's shaking off solar radiation. Wow. And it's just like throwing all these light beams everywhere. And then suddenly the steam is getting more steamy and then it's just a steam cloud everywhere and then it's just like this steam world and you're just uh, enveloped in it. And it's it's refreshing, but also a little exhausting and suddenly you're all very thirsty. Water. There's a I little, need, there's a little oh, okay, cucumber water right here. Okay, okay, if you want okay, some water. Some so, yeah. 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 God, I just wanted all of my skin to be fresh. Apologies. I appreciate no, it. no, it's good. Yeah, okay. incredible. Um, so you're, you're fresh, you're relaxed. Um, you've yeah. made your decision on going to Bantress. We go to where Torin and Jen, Jill, Jill are. Jill. 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 Great. Jill. Okay, great. Yeah, so you go to the, the research <laughs> library. <laughs> And yeah, you you open the door. And they're um, fully making out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to roll for it? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we don't want this. Actually, you guys, uh, where is the love? If I get yeah. to if I get to the door first, I will because I was the first one to hear them. Oh, that's right. So I will just sort of like you heard the meet cute. Moment. I heard yeah. the meet cute moment. Uh, can I listen in just for like a half second? Yeah, give me a perception. Oh yeah, we go up and knock first. Or twenty uh, two with a twenty two. You actually kind of hear a giggle, and it's just like, <laughs> Torin, let's <laughs> stop. We have to focus. Oh, oh okay. And then I go, Ahem. you open the library, and they're like, Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> hello. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> they're, they're like at that stage where, like, they're just <laughs> friends. Yeah, it's just <laughs> silly. Uh, like, you look at them, and they're really not looking at each other. Oh, like yeah. you can tell they're like not making any eye contact. No, no, no. They, they, they're like at a stage where they don't. A meet cute happens, and they didn't realize it was a meet cute. And like they yeah. like each other, but they don't know they like. They don't know they like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that stage. Yeah, that's so a great cute. Stage. Uh, yeah. Um. So, what have y'all figured out together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kind of things have you discovered? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm so glad you asked. So, um, Also, uh, Jill, before you go any further, Torin, we're going to go on an adventure. Do you want to take a break from all this and come with us? Oh, thank God. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> no, no offense, Jill, but like, Everyone I don't read, read this much normally. It's it's a lot. And she's like, oh, no, I get it. I, uh, I don't either. I mean, like, I'm not a wizard. I'm a sorceress. But anyways, yeah. You are a nerd. Oh. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> Sorry, we had too much of a like good moment. I know. Like, yeah, you have to balance it, it out. Okay. Yeah. You're doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, oh, you're doing God. that. Um, team, mm -hmm. can we actually have a little sidebar on our plat? Sorry, one moment. We have like something to talk about. Excuse oh. us. Yeah. You want us to leave the room? No, no. We'll just, no. Like, we'll go just go over here. Door. Yeah, we'll go yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. 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 Okay. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Okay. I think. You have all softened my heart slightly. Oh uh, yeah. Wow. Oh. I'm I'm like, where is the love? Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? I think I don't know. I think we need to make it. And I think um Are you coming on to us? Oh, 
God, no, dear. Okay. I mean, no offense or anything. No, I just, none taken. Of you my type, nor could you handle no, me. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> That's um, 100% I'm well aware. Correct. Yeah. 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 The thought frightens me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just wouldn't know what to do. No, it's not you. Flandel. I can't. I just wouldn't. It's okay. Yeah. You don't need to explain it. Just let it. I'm yeah, just going to. I just. Okay. Anyways. Nobody wants to make yeah. out. It's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, um, cool. So okay. you're no, okay. I feel like maybe I just like need Jill to be distracted and I just like don't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling, but I feel like we should invite her too. Because her and Torin like, I feel like they have this like thing. I was going to say, um, I I heard this the other the other day, but I felt like there was something, there's something going on between them. Yeah? Yeah, I think. I never, yeah. Wow. I think they might be like in to each, I mean, they did spend that like whole week like running away from Gandar in the same ship together. Jill hates people. That's funny. Just like me. So does Torrin. And will sacrifice someone at any chance. She had the invisibility. She could have just pushed his ass off at any moment. Yeah, Torrin's not And she didn't. Yeah. That's cute. I just think we should invite her, but just for that. I don't, you know, I wanted to be very clear. I don't know, but I wanted to ask the team. I think it's fine with me. She seems like a very capable sorceress. Yeah. But that is not the reason we are bringing her. No, no. I, uh, I believe in love. I do. And uh, you know what? You believe in a thing called love? Just listen to it. Um, um, yeah, let's, okay, I'm down. Let's bring them both. Yeah, the okay. more the merrier. That's amazing. It can only help. Um, hi. Never heard. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, let's, uh, we saunter back over there. How would you actually, Torin's going to come with us. Uh, Jill, would you also like to come with us and take a break from all of this? Oh, What's a treat? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'd love to. That, yes, that sounds great. I'll, I'll just keep on the lookout for magical energies that I can just like peruse and draw into uh, other maybe enchantments. And who knows? Maybe they can be helpful. Okay. And maybe great. you and Torin can get to know each other better. Yeah, maybe we can. You know, you know, you and I, or you and Torin, um, or Torin and you can get to know each other. You know, or, yeah, all whatever. of us can get I mean, to know like, each other. Like. Like you and Torin and Torin, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I just think like all of us really. It's it'll be a big like team bond. Yeah, it'll kind be of fun, thing. and we can kind of split off into pairs. And, and maybe we think, like the three of us and the two of you. Yeah. I'm just spitballing here. Yeah, and also because you know we're all on the ship now together, so you and Torin could spend some time together with you know us. Yeah, people spend time together all the time. That sounds lovely. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Well, you came at just the right time because I have pieced together a few parts of the library and I think I've learned enough about both the history of Gandar pieced together from what I remember and then also I think I have what I need I've assembled a kind of a a version of a spell scroll to be able to cast scrying squat Uh, (laughs) yeah what is that scrying (laughs) Uh, scrying is a <laughs> scrying is a spell that uh, if uh, successful, um, I'll actually be able to place a sensor near Gandar and see what he's doing and what he's looking at and what his little mischievous nature is uh, getting up to, and then maybe we can find him and uh, fuck him up. That's um, incredibly powerful. Who knows if he'll we'll see his weakness? Yes, but it's a it's a scroll. It's risky, but there is a very good chance that we'll get some interesting information from it. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Do that. Yeah. Great. Maybe um, after um, after we defeat the Mind Flayers, we'll be powerful and like knowledgeable enough to um, kill Gandar. So, scrying is a very fun spell. I love scrying. This is Eris talking. Scrying has two major components to it. Number one... It depends on the caster's familiarity with the target and their connection to that target. And then that depends on the wisdom of the target. And so the target makes a wisdom saving throw. So Jill is like prepping, cleared off the table, laid out the scroll and has placed five candles around 
and produces a little tiny trophy that says number one salesperson. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and it's Gandar's like small business trophy. Um, and so has a has an important possession and is very familiar with the target. And so Gandar actually gets a minus 15 to this roll Work. of a saving throw. Shit. Jill's spell save DC is 16. So basically Gandar has to get a wisdom saving throw of a 30 in order to pass. Um, Damn. Which is hard. Which means he would have to roll like a nat 20, right? Or maybe something's close. Maybe. Oh, I'll be honest. Uh, he doesn't need an at 20, but he does need above a 17. Yeah. He is... Uh, Very wise. Yeah. Seems. A powerful. Butthole. He's a, he's a powerful butthole. So, let's see. Uh, this is the wisdom saving throw for Gandar. Oh, God. That is a big old two. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So Gandar got it. <laughs> in this wisdom saving throw has a negative 13. Yeah. And so scrying works. A invisible sensor appears within 10 feet. And so at the center where the spell scroll was acted on the table, a pillar of light, almost like a glass column, just pierces out from the table. And you can see, as if looking in through this pillar, you see the room that Gandar is in. Oh, shit. And you recognize that it's actually the captain's quarters of the scum purger. And it is extra meaty. Oh, oh God. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, has it gotten worse? Meat somehow? lover's supreme. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> Bacon yeah. and pepperoni? <laughs> Ham. <laughs> The ship started actually moving and coming alive when you escaped it. There were muscle fibers connecting the planks. And as you are viewing it, you see that there's just a gentle writhing happening all throughout the space. And nothing is, none of the familiar shapes of like a desk or anything is there. Things are more organic looking. But there is a throne, a throne of sharpened, protruding ribs forming the back of a chair and Gandar sits in it and it looks like there are just like muscles that kind of form the backing of it. And he's just there thinking. You hear his voice and it's in the room, but his mouth isn't moving. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's almost just like he fully embodies this space. And so these words are just coming from him and the ship simultaneously without lips or anything. He's just working through something in his mind. And he goes, The body, the body, the body. Hmm. Well, I think our interlopers know a bit more than they let on. And as they gather power, so must I. The brothers... I have a mechanism for interfering, as always. Hmm. As it has passed, so it shall be. As the bodies pile up, so does all. And the head turns slowly to the left and looks directly into the pillar. Speaking of interlopers, I really um, don't like being looked at in my private moments. And in that moment... Oh, no. Oh, no. Jill, turn it off! Turn Turn it off! off. (laughs) Shut it down. Jill rolls a seven for a wisdom saving throw. And in this moment, Gandar can see the invisibility in this. And so there is a recoil of the spell. I'll see you soon. And the entire pillar just bursts into this light of red. And Jill's body is thrown up against the wall and she crumbles to the ground unconscious. Oh no. Oh my God. Jill!
Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to Queers on Dice. We truly have so much fun here and are so grateful to every single one of you that takes the time to listen. And you know what else we would be super grateful for? Ooh, if you also took the time to give us five stars. It's super easy and it's super fun because you're filling in stars. How joyous. (laughs) And if you would like to subscribe to us, you can on patreon.com slash queers on dice. And you know what happens when you become a patron? We might answer some like Q&A questions. Oh, that's exciting. And you'll be able to listen to them through exclusive content. And just a quick shout out to our patrons currently. Um, Ryan, Osner, Ube Milk Tea, Axel, and Chris. Thank you so much. We will be answering your questions, sugars. Thank you for supporting queer art, queer joy. See you next time. It's getting juicy, y'all. No! Oh, no! no. For once I want to help that bitch! <laughs>